we're asked to determine the negation, converse, or contrapositive of the given quantifier statement. We have for every number x, if the absolute value of x is less than one, then x squared is less than one. Let's assume the implication in the parentheses is in the form of if p then q, where p the hypothesis is the absolute value of x is less than one, and q the conclusion is x squared is less than one. Number one, we're asked to state the negation. We begin by negating this statement from here, and now we simplify. The negation passes across the quantifier, changing the quantifier type, and then we negate the implication. So again, for the first step, the negation passes across the quantifier. The quantifier changes from for every x to there exists an x, and now we negate the implication. The negation of the implication if p then q is logically equivalent to p and not q. The negation of if the absolute value of x less than one, then x squared less than one is absolute value of x less than one and x squared greater than or equal to one. Notice the absolute value of x less than one is just p and x squared greater than or equal to one is the negation of q or the negation of x squared less than one. Our final statement is there exists a number x such that the absolute value of x is less than one and x squared is greater than or equal to one. For number two, we're asked to state the converse. The converse of if p then q is if q then p. To form the converse, we interchange p and q, or we interchange the hypothesis and conclusion. The quantifier type stays the same. The converse of the statement is, for every number x, if x squared is less than one, then the absolute value of x is less than one. Again, here we just interchanged the hypothesis and conclusion in the original implication. For number three, we're asked to state the contrapositive using symbols. The contrapositive of if p then q is if not q then not p. To form the contrapositive, the quantifier stays the same. We interchange and negate both p and q or the hypothesis and conclusion. The contrapositive is for every number x, if x squared is greater than or equal to one, then the absolute value of x is greater than or equal to one. Notice x squared greater than or equal to one is the negation of q the conclusion, and the absolute value of x greater than or equal to one is the negation of p, or the negation of the original hypothesis. I hope you found this helpful.